All right, Faisal, you're up next here. We'll get to the second question of the afternoon. And what is the difference between module and dynamic module? By the suggestion from the name, module and dynamic module are somewhat similar. Basically, these are scoping constructs. In Mathematica, you can create a variable and then assign it to a value, and this value can be um, repeated everywhere the variable shows. Module allows me to recreate the variable of the same name, but prevent it from inheriting this global value. Similarly, any changes that I make inside is not going to be passed on to the global value. So module and dynamic module both work in the same sense. But as the name indicates, dynamic is the difference. Mod the difference is how they scope this uh, variable locally. One is a kernel history session, whereas the other is front end session. That's the general rule of thumb. And anytime you try to do something with dynamic, most and you want to uh, scope your variables, most likely dynamic module is what you are interested. Module is more for evaluation purposes, not for dynamic purposes. Let's go ahead and see some concrete examples here. So module, the way it localizes its variables, and you can actually see the, the, the form that the kernel maintains for that matter versus dynamic module is slightly different. So if I try to create a dynamic in here, let's say with a slider, which will vary my value of x, There's some red indicators here in the syntax coloring, sort of indicating something might be going on, but the slider works just the same. And even in my dynamic module case, it also works the same way. So it seems to be no problem here. What happens, this is, uh, this is an interesting case, if I copy the output, so I create a duplicate of my module slider and when I move one of these new sliders, you see the other sliders also moving at the same time. Even though these are scoped variables in the kernel, they are stored the same way. So both of these are dynamically linked. As opposed to copying the output from my dynamic module, if I duplicate this output, because of the way it localizes the variable, it is now localizing this independently because of the dynamic module. So this is a fundamental difference between module and dynamic module. And also, like I've been saying, module stores its variable in the kernel. So if I happen to quit my kernel session, uh, in essence, I've lost that uh, modular localized variable in the module. So now my uh, module slider is not going to be very responsive. But my dynamic module is still responsive. What this means, I can save this notebook, send it to somebody else that obviously is not sharing the kernel history with myself, and they are still able to be able to interact with any interface examples that I use. Uh, there are more examples such as this in our documentation center. Which clearly uh, illustrates what the purpose of each of these functions are and also tutorial to further um, explain what the difference between these two constructs are. So again, to reiterate, module and dynamic module, the main difference is how they localize. They are both localization constructs, but how they localize, where they store the uh, variable values. Module is for kernel and useful for evaluation purposes, and dynamic module is stored mostly in the front end and useful for dynamic and interface constructions. No, fantastic. No, that's a great way to sum it up. And if you want to look at some of that again, go to the documentation center and you'll find it all right there.